everyone. Welcome to a, another episode of WP the Podcast. I'm Tim Streifler, and today we are talking about five types of complex websites that you can build with WordPress. Now, obviously, everyone knows you can build a blog with WordPress. You can build a business website like a uh, for small businesses, like brochure-style websites and so forth. Everyone knows you can build e-commerce websites using WooCommerce and the other platforms out there. But um, sometimes you might not be aware of everything that WordPress can do if you've never looked into and researched it and, and, and uh, been faced with the task of building a type of website like this. And so I want to share five different types of complex websites. This is by no means a complete list. There's all different types of complex things that can be accomplished with WordPress. And so um, let's go ahead and get started. The first one is a social community. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should go out and try to build a competitor to Facebook or Twitter or uh, TikTok or whatever uh, with uh, with using WordPress, but if you want to have some sort of internal community, some sort of, of, of social network type of thing uh, for, for whatever website you have, you can do that on WordPress. And so, for example, you can use tools like BuddyPress or Peepso. Peepso uh, is um, probably more feature-rich, uh, and it'll allow you to build a social network uh, with accounts and profiles and uh, messaging and commenting and a feed and all those types of, of features. And so I'm um, actually shout out to uh, Justin, who's a friend of uh, of the podcast. Uh, he has WPHub.social. Uh, definitely check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and I believe he uses Peepso to power uh, his social community that's for WordPress web designer specifically. So definitely go in and check out wphub.social. Um, so the first one is social community. The second one is a forum. Now, forums definitely aren't as popular as they were in the early days of the internet, but a forum is basically, uh, they're usually like niche focused uh, within different industries. And it's just a place to uh, to do posts and have people comment on the posts and stuff and uh, typically use for some sort of help forum. Um, and so you can actually build a forum website uh, using WordPress. And so you can use BB Press, which is by Automatic, the founders of WordPress, and BB Press will power your forum on WordPress. And so I, I built a, a site. It was for um, a company uh, that led uh, surrogacy for parents who couldn't have kids biologically. And so they built a forum to help people answer questions and, and get help for everything, all the different things that go on with that. There's adoption forums and uh, there's car forums, there's gamer forums, there's forums on every single topic you can imagine, WordPress forums. So forums can be really, really powerful. And so you can do that using WordPress, BB press. Uh, there's probably others now too, uh, but I've used BB, BB press and it was, and it was great. Um, so this one is probably a little more common, uh, and that's an online course site. So no surprise there. You can use tools like lifter LMS or learn dash. And there's other ones too. Those are the big two. Uh, I recommend lifter LMS. Uh, you can actually get started for free and then you just pay for the extensions that you need. Um, so you can build an awesome online course site using, uh, Live to LMS and Learn Dash. Um, so the next one, this one is uh, probably a little lesser known, um, and that's a crowdfunding site. So you can actually create a website similar to like um, Kickstarter or Indiegogo, where you're having crowdfunding. Again, and if you're going to try to create a site that actually competes with those companies, you might want to uh, raise some money and uh, get a team of developers to build something custom. Um, but if you're doing something maybe for a, a niche, something very specific to create type of, of, of crowdfunding campaigns. Um, you can do that on WordPress. Um, there's tools like WP crowdfunding, um, also give WP, which is mainly focused on donations and stuff, but they have features that kind of simulate that crowdfunding type of, of thing. So that can be powerful too. Um, and then the last type of complex website that you can build with WordPress is a membership site. Now this is similar to like an online course site, but online course sites, while they do have membership 
features, everything is kind of geared more towards education and learning and uh, that whole experience. But you can build a, strictly a membership website using tools like Restrict Content Pro or MemberPress, and they have everything that you need to have members-only content and create sort of like a club experience where, where members can log in and get access to different types of exclusive members content that isn't necessarily an online course or education focused type of thing. And so um, you can build membership sites with WordPress. So super, super powerful. Now I, I do want to kind of end the episode with saying just because you can do those things with WordPress doesn't mean you always should. So sometimes there's things that you can do uh, that maybe you don't need to necessarily do in, within WordPress and you can save a lot of time and effort by using a pre-made solution that's not on WordPress. For example, for like a social community, you can use something like uh, Circle. Uh, Circle's a really popular, um, gaining a lot of popularity for creating a, a online community. Well, they already have all everything built out and you don't need to go and, and build it yourself on WordPress. And so that can save you a lot of time. You won't have quite as much control, but It'll make things a lot easier. Um, and then online course site. I mean, yeah, you can go and host a course on Teachable or Udemy. For that one, I'd, I'd probably recommend sticking with WordPress. And then crowdfunding. If you need to do crowdfunding, you don't have to build it yourself. You can use other crowdfunding platforms out there. So just a couple of things like that. I wanted to mention that just because you can do some everything with WordPress doesn't mean you always should or doesn't mean that it's always the smartest choice for the amount of effort and time, resources, all that that's going to go into it. So I just wanted to end with that. So that is the end of this episode. Tune in tomorrow. We're going to talk about the WordPress SEO plugin basics that you should know. So super important episode tomorrow. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.